Dealing with slow internet can be super frustrating. So today, we're bringing you a guide on how to speed up your internet. Here at Ice Cream Apps, we're all about simplifying workflows, solving problems, and increasing productivity. The people who watch our tutorials and use our tools need their internet running at top speeds. Following these steps will help you speed up your overall browsing experience speed up file downloads, decrease web page load times, and decrease buffering inside videos, ensuring you get the best networking experience possible. Let's jump right in. First, we'll go over how to test your internet speed. Testing your speed before and after following this tutorial will ensure you're getting measurable results. Visit speedtest.net if you're on a computer or speedof.me for mobile speed testing and click the Go button. After this test has finished, you'll see your ping, download speed, and upload speed. Be sure to write these numbers down so you can compare speeds after following some or all of the tips on this video. We've put a link in the description below. Tip number one sounds simple but sometimes resetting or moving your router to a new location can speed up your internet. You know how restarting your computer can sometimes fix unknown computer issues? Well, rebooting your wireless router can fix internet connection problems too. Also, the position of your router can reduce the strength of its signal. Be sure to place the router in a high, open space with limited obstructions for better results. Setting your router in a central location can maximize where your signals travel. The next tip involves using an ad blocker. Okay, an ad blocker won't speed up your internet, but it will increase web browsing speed. Most ads contain larger graphics and video files. Also, ads don't cache like other websites and pages you visit, so your computer uses a considerable amount of resources loading them every time you visit a page that contains ads. Speaking of ads, let's segue right into asking you to like this video if you want more amazing content like this. Also subscribe, it helps us make more videos like this. Next, let's talk about antivirus software. Most people know that viruses can send your computer's speed to a crawl, but viruses can also have an enormous impact on your internet speed. These viruses can run in the background and use the internet without permission, causing an increase in bandwidth usage. The result, slower internet. Using antivirus software can help you remove any viruses on your computer. But choose your antivirus software carefully. Make an informed decision, so do your research. Clearing your browser cache can increase your speed, especially if you haven't cleared your cache in a long time. As you travel the web, your browser collects or caches certain files to speed up your browsing experience. If you revisit a site, the cache files are already there, so your browser only needs to download new bits of information from the web. However, we'd recommend occasionally clearing out your cache and starting anew. Your browser should automatically manage the cache, but it can get unwieldy and cause problems sometimes. Our next tip, updating your router's drivers. One of the most overlooked ways to maximize router speed is to ensure your router is always running the latest software and firmware. Sure, the updates usually are security fixes, but they're not going to make your router blazing fast suddenly. However, every incremental gain can help. If you haven't updated in a while, you might see a boost. Let's take another look at how to make a router faster by optimizing the settings. Have you considered changing your router's frequency from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz? Navigate to your router's settings by typing the router's IP address in your browser's search bar and pressing enter. Find the setting to change from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz and you're good to go. Once again, the settings are different for every service provider or router. So the best we can do with this tip is to point you in the right direction. Looking at your manufacturer's instructions will help you out in this regard. 
If your internet connection weakens the further away you get from your router, you may need a Wi-Fi extender to keep a strong signal throughout your home. A Wi-Fi extender connects with your router either wirelessly or through a wired connection to help extend your internet signal into rooms that are Wi-Fi dead zones due to walls, furniture obstructions, or general spacing. It's a separate device that sits between your wireless router and the areas where you want more robust Wi-Fi coverage. A lot of otherwise tech-savvy people still use the default username and password on their router. Even intermediate hackers are capable of hacking relatively secure networks with non-default passwords. Using a strong Wi-Fi password is equally important. All the steps in this tutorial will be an exercise in futility if your neighbors are piggybacking off your Wi-Fi and using it to download movies all day. Navigating to your settings and disabling any unused devices can stop you from having unwanted and random issues with your internet speed. Most devices will update automatically, and you don't want a device to update while you're on an important conference call. Sometimes we can do everything in our power to increase our internet speed, and nothing works. If that's the case, you may need to upgrade your internet plan. Many plans offer 30 to 50 megabit per second plans, but if your area doesn't have fiber optic cable installed, you will probably get a percentage of those speeds. Upgrading your plan is a sure way to increase your internet speed. You may be grandfathered in at an old and outdated plan and not even know it. That would be a disaster. Buying a new router won't affect the actual speed of your internet. The real benefit of a brand new router comes with having better coverage and more settings to adjust. A new router could also give you improved home security features and be compatible with a broader spectrum of devices. Additional security and compatibility helps homeowners interested in automating their homes or making their network more secure. Also, older routers don't support the five gigahertz frequency. So consider your options and buy a better router if you think that's the issue. We hope our 11 tips will help you speed up your internet connection. Subscribe to our channel to not miss our new content and like this video to support us.